Hello everyone, my name is Pestilence. And I'm Brannick. And uh, today we're going to show you how to do a stubby grenadier build. So first thing we're going to do is grab ourselves a light front chassis 4x4. And we'll set that down right about here because it's happy there. And then we're going to grab the growl cabin and put him down right there. And then we're going to grab the 6 six by 4 light frame and put it down over here. Center that up. And put it there. Now we're going to grab our first weapons platform right now, which is going to be our grenadier. We'll flip it around backwards and slide it underneath center as so. Now our goal is to get three of those suckers on here but there's going to be a, a slight problem with that because this cabin only has 11 power and at this time grenadiers cost four. Um, Brannick, do you have any suggestions? Well, uh... You're going to have to put at least one point of energy on there, if not two, if you want to throw an engine on there to increase your speed, too. Uh, well, let, let's play with that a little bit. Um, we have the 150-point Big G for plus one, and the 400-point uh, Ampere. Ampere, yep. For a two... And unfortunately, both those things explode whenever you uh, hit them. Now, if we're going to use the amp yeah. here, let's, let's, let's throw that up there for a second. Go back to our, our uh, uh, build layout here and grab the 1x6s. Oh, which I cannot slide underneath this thing from this angle. I have to put up. No, nope, you've only got you've only got the centers. There you go. <laughs> yeah. They have to throw a one by four underneath of it, and then the one by sixes, so that you can countersink the ampere down much lower. Yeah, that gives it a little bit of protection and makes it harder to hit. I mean. Or Having an explosive it. module on your vehicle is dangerous no matter how you do it, but at least you want to make it a little bit harder for him to hit it. I mean, everything that you just said there is completely true. Um, if, we, if we put it, set it there, uh, you know, Brett, I don't know if we can get that sucker up. Uh, hmm. Now, if you set it down too far, it's going to drag the ground and cause problems. Uh, I've only got to counter something. You can, you could, could take, you could one. take, you could take it down one more without it having a problem. But you can't, you can't make it flush with the top of your frame. No, you cannot. Um, and that that really is the the problem because um, well, we'll see that later. Um, now I'm going to throw something now, else Now, on on, on the other hand, on the other hand. You could sink a gas generator in there for three points of energy and have it sit flush. That's more energy than I need. It's more energy than you need, but you would also be able to throw a chameleon on it at that point to hide yourself after you drop off your grenadiers. How big are we going to make this vehicle, Brannick? Well, we'll figure that out as we go. Exactly. <laughs> So right right now we have the ampere on there just to, as a placeholder, and uh, let's let's continue picking up our our grenadiers here. Now I was wanting to put them on directly behind the cab. And as you can see, I have a stacking issue. And there, therein lies the the, the beauty rock. of my suggestion for the gr for the gas gen instead of the ampere. The gas gen takes up the same footprint. 
Give it a try. Okay. Gas generator. Actually, it takes up a bigger footprint. Excuse me, I was thinking of the, uh... Of the, there you go, and now it's flush with the top of your frame, and you can stack your grenadiers. And, of course, this is the core build for a three-grenadier gr build. <laughs> I mean, this, I mean, that's the long and the short of it, isn't it? And now you're saying to throw a, an additional, uh, let's square off the back of this frame here. And now you're saying to throw a, uh, chameleon on the, on the very back. As such. That brings this card up mm. 5,349 points, and we haven't even put armor or wheels on it. And we on. haven't put any wheels or armor on it yet. If we really wanted to be fancy, we'd do this, you know, just... <laughs> I mean, it's technically mobile now. Oh, fairly stable, too. Technically, yes. Not as fast as it could be, because this growl well, the tracks, is a fast tank. Well, the tracks yeah. have a uh, maximum speed limit on anything that was tracked. That, this is true. They're slower, but they also have a lot more hit points. Oh, I like that. Uh, don't forget, you're going to want to have at least a, a, a white level radar on there to slightly increase the range of your gren grenadiers also. Hmm. Anyway, the, the point of this video is just to show everyone the, the core build of how to do a turret or drone build that is, you know, core. I I can replace these these drones right here with, uh, say, cobras. I I see. I have uh, cobras, don't I? Eh, you don't have three cobras, but you have, have three pythons. I have three pythons. So let's 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 go with that. There's python left, python right. And Python, Python reverse. And here's the nice thing: if you run in three pythons, you don't need that generator, which drops your power score dramatically. In fact, it drops it so much that uh, you, know, you, st you still have two points left over. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's. And you could still put a, a stealth and a radar detector module on there. Well, what is I was going to, was going to put a full-size radar on there, as such. And then you can, yes, you can also do a stealth unit as well. Here's a chameleon again. We'll slap it on the back, because apparently we're back slappers around here. <laughs> Three thousand power score. Let's let's throw some uh, cheap wheels on there. I'm gonna throw some cheap steery boy wheels on there. And you know what? As soon as you up armor this thing, I want to get those wheels. In there. You have yourself a mobile and lethal unit here. Also, you get all the advantages of the uh, speed that the Growl Cabin can offer. And with a well-placed well drop... Now 
now we're just gonna sit back here and watch those uh, uh, three three turrets do their work, and that that's that's what they do. Their area of denial. Hippity hoppity, get off my property. Rannick, you have any anything else to interject? Well, I think uh, next episode we should uh, show them a decent low power score way to armor this thing also. Now, there really is two uh, 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 schools of thought. You can do layered armor or you can do standoff armor. But anyway, that, that'll be in the next episode. That's and, next episode. We'll uh, worry about that then. <laughs> all right. Until then, I've been Pestilence. And I'm Brannick. And we'll see you next time.